and Jay and the entire team for, like my father describes, this very audacious step of being able to be able to give me a platform like that. And I've got Sri with me. This is his first event as an actor. You can stand up and say hello to everybody. He just said that. He said, this is the first time I'm making an appearance as an actor at an event, so welcome him. And I'm grateful for this audacious platform that you've made available to us because it allows us to, as producers, call the shots and release our movies with dignity. So thank you, Z5, for walking into the room when everybody in the industry walked out. And for that, I am eternally grateful. And like I said, nothing ever quick with me, so I'm here to stay. And I hope this is the beginning of a long lasting, very, very satisfying relationship. You basically answered all my questions <laughs> with that. <laughs> so I'm sure we'll have something exciting coming. Uh, a tell all about, you know, a very exciting life. So oh, there we more go. about that later. More about that later. You have all the right people here to make sure that that takes place. Now, ladies and gentlemen, forgive me. The lights have been blinding me for quite a while, but I can't find Guneet. Is she here? Tomorrow, in fact, is when you start promoting the new show, The Final Call, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I think we've started. Hello, good evening, everybody. And firstly, congratulations to Z5, one years old. Yeah. Very important birthday. <laughs> okay, now you've taken your baby steps. Now it's time to take leaps. And I wish you many leaps going into the future. Um, yeah, I think just this whole platform is amazing. It's going to be where people are going to, I mean, we all are binge watching even as actors you know it's so exciting to watch other people's work you know there's so many wonderful writers directors uh, producers uh, scripts performances you know um, costume designs everything uh, so it's a great place to come and explore and uh, I'm, I'm really really happy that i got to do it with the final call it's a wonderful book which i've read uh, called uh, i will go with you uh, by priya and um, uh, it got made into this, and um, I mean, we didn't pull any, uh, you know, they, did, they went all out for it, didn't have any stops along the way, and we did it really fast. But I'm really happy and proud with the product. Uh, whoever's seen a few of the episodes has been telling me, but I am keeping my fingers crossed because if I see them, I think I jinx them. <laughs> so I'll only watch it once it's out on Z5. Do you think sometimes there is a difference in the medium that you're shooting for? Is it fair to just say, if you're shooting for film or you're shooting for a platform, it's just the same? I think the craft is the same. Mm -hmm. The craft, of course, for every actor, uh, I can only speak as an actor, uh, is the same. But um, yes, I think you get a little more time, you know, to explore your character and to go more deep within it. Uh, and. Uh, I think uh, in this film, I'm mostly 90% of the time in Final Call, I'm in the confines of a cockpit, right. you know, and there's nobody I can uh, uh, talk to or, and there's a dead pilot next to me, and there's uh, nobody else I can talk to or interact with. Uh, so it was very, very interesting, but it gives you time. It gives you time to get into it, you know, get into the mood of it. Whereas with films, you, film, uh, the time span is you've got to make it in an hour and a half. Here you've got eight hours of footage, you know, to um, explore with, so, yeah. So you gave us a slight sneak peek of what Final Call is like, just those few little indications, and... Uh, I'll tell you a lot more about it if you want. No, but actually, we did think that, uh, why not? Because we're a whole family that's right here off one uh, platform. And uh, why don't you tell everyone, just a one-liner of what they can expect from Final Call? Well, a lot of thrill, uh, I, and I think before you get onto an aeroplane after this, you definitely are going to, I think every creative person wants to make a statement, and uh, after you watch Final Call, before you board a plane, you'll have a big smile on your face, either it'll be shitting yourself or it'll be uh, seriously like, oh my god, they got me, that kind of a smile, because it's about a suicidal pilot who's uh, taken off <laughs> in midair. All right, so looking forward to that and not looking forward to the flight that I will have to catch tomorrow. Thank you for that. Thank you. And uh, you are part of our one year uh, celebration because with Rang Bars, we kicked off on Z5 as well. And, no, uh, wasn't that Karinjit Kaur? No, no, but I mean, you've been on the platform with us yes. as part of this one year that has been taking place. Not so technical, but okay. <laughs> so, uh, what has that journey been like for you, especially to be on Z5? No, I've been, in all honesty, I've been very, very fortunate 
that I got to be part of a show that was so content driven and uh, I'm very happy that Z5 backed it and they believed the fact that I could play that gangster and uh, it's been a very very good journey for me with the team. Uh, I have made friends with the team now that the show's over. We still have the same old WhatsApp group, the marketing group where we sometimes talk. So I think uh, working with the team, uh, I've really enjoyed myself and I hope I can continue this going forward. I hope, uh, where is Tarun sir? Is he here? So sir, you should be giving me a show every year, at least one show. So I will continue this relationship. I've had a great time working with the Z5 team. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hi. Good evening, everybody. So <clears throat> about a year ago, I was sitting in the audience uh, looking at the launch myself at Four Seasons, and I wondered what we were going to do. A lot of people told me uh, that you're going to do this well, you're going to do this badly, you guys don't have legacy, there are international players coming in, there are people who've been in this country and been doing this for the last five years, so on and so forth. And you, know, you, have, you have doubts in your head, you wonder, you know, are you doing the right thing for yourself, for the company, uh, and you know, in that sense, for your family. And I had this conversation with Puneet and Amit Goenka, and you know, they looked in, me, I, in my eyes and said, listen, you know, we're, we're putting the faith into you and in ourselves and in this brand. And between all of us, you've got to make something happen uh, in the next 12 to 18 months. And you know, let's make sure that if nothing else, we are proud of what we do. Uh, we do reasonably well, and so on and so forth. Now, at that point in time, you know, you're a bit cynical, a bit hopeful, uh, but, you, you know, but you're hoping something will come out of it. One year later, when I stand here, uh, and we look back and, and look at what we've achieved, it's kind of a journey that has been madness. It's been, you know, somebody wrote to me saying, what an insane year it's been. And I, I really believe, you know, insane in a good way is what this year has been. And thanks to all of you guys, uh, you know, we've achieved so much that sometimes things which have happened last month, last week, or even three months ago, look like they happened a year ago or two years ago and so on and so forth. And when I heard Sakib speaking, it seemed like Gangbaz was like, you know, <laughs> a while back, because it's just you're on to the next thing all the time. They say anniversaries are about celebration, you know, uh, but for us, truly anniversaries are about, or this anniversary is truly about committing, delivering, and then feeling, you know, that we've achieved something. 60 million is just a number. You saw some 56 or whatever. 60 million is really just a number. One of the things that, you know, we put forward in our own head was that when we came in last into this game, we had nothing to lose. And I believe in, in, a, in a phrase that I heard many years ago, which is the other side of fear is freedom. So you go on and do something, when you don't worry, you're going to achieve something eventually, right? And that eventually has fortunately happened much faster than all of us expected. But it would have never happened if we didn't have an incredible team. Uh, I can't name everybody, but you know, from the leadership team to the management team to every single person at Z5, they've really stepped up, they've stretched themselves. There have been no hours, there have been, you know, no real work-life balance, as they call it in the corporate world. It's just about being, doing it, doing it, doing it, and doing it more. And that has also been with all our partners. I was calculating one day how long should it take for a show to make. And, you know, from the time somebody comes and gives us a concept, and then we, we agree on the concept, and then they go out and start writing it, and then they start shoot, you know, casting it, and then they start shooting it, and they start post-producing it, and then they start promoting it, and so on and so forth. And I reasonably came to a 300-day number. Right? Is that okay? Is 300 too little or too more? Too much? Uh, right. I wanted that reaction. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> And, you know, guess how much we do this in? Uh, we've done it at the shortest in about 65, 70 days, and at the longest in about 100, 120 days, right? And I, lo I know a lot of people complain about it. Uh, you know, I have had people who've made me swear that I'm not going to launch a show on a certain day, and I'm going to at least take three more months to make it, and so on and so forth. And not one, but many. Uh, but. Uh, thankfully, we've got it all together, and it's really the new India that we're looking at. 
people told us that you know <clears throat> is there talent in india a lot of you know people come to ask me is there talent in india to make shows like you know some of the global partners or you know netflix and amazon and things like that can we make stuff like that and and i say you know guys you've not even met the indian people you've not met indian writers you haven't met you know indian actors crew cast so on and so forth you're actually writing us off before we even got started arjun and me <clears throat> thankfully we were at a you know at a uh, kind of a global seminar of advertisers in jaipur about the same last week right and there was a very senior advertising gentleman who said hey, you know he saw two three of our promos he presented final call rangbaz abey and one of the things he said you know doesn't it all look like narcos and i'm like you know i got a bit defensive and then arjun said you know it, it all looks like and he handled it much better so it it's kind of it's difficult to have a good looking actor who speaks much better than you on the stage with you so it's like anyway you feel shitty but then he handled it much better and said listen you know narcos is the gold standard in the world if you think we are making narcos we're doing something right uh, and fortunately not only in hindi but in every single language of of this country right we've been able to make some really good stuff whether it's bengali and param is here and he's done some incredible work with us uh, across the bengali language he's done two shows which are highly successful the second one is going to come and i'm assuming it's going to be uh, there has been a, a a long list of shows that we've done in uh, tamil in telugu in marathi and there's one which we are launching in marathi that may, hopefully you're going to see a trailer of that i think is going to really shake the marathi industry up right it's called sex drug and theater so you can imagine what it is <clears throat> in in all of that uh, we also come to the best thing is uh, thank you tarun and team and z5 a time has come when directors can or writers can do lot of things fearlessly there is no baggage now let's tell our stories and there is a platform for us thanks over to raima so I'm, I was a part of Z5 even last year. Exactly, you've and taken that whole journey with us. I was a part of Z5 this year, so it feels great. And congratulations, congratulations, Z5, to complete one year. So just to let everybody know over here, in case you weren't familiar with Parchai, it is uh, short stories of my favorite author, Ruskin Bond. And um, you've actually taken a collection of his horror stories, and those have been uh, put onto the platform. Can I call Sajad also? Sure. Please come. <laughs> uh, these are horror stories. These are ghost stories. But sometimes they are better than human beings, you know, which we see around the world nowadays. So I'm very happy to do uh, Ruskin Bond. And uh, we grew up with his stories, you know, and when he, we can, Everybody told me, a lot of my friends told me, are you, you are not making a film, you're making a series. Trust me, it's more challenging to make a 50 minute film. And this is more than a film. Right. Over to you, Sajid. So, <laughs> any question? The question would be that what is it like being on a platform like Z5? It's amazing because uh, that's uh, the first time I'm doing something with the platform, and that's Z5. I want to take the time to congratulate, I have a problem, same as well, uh, to all the team, Z5, and I'm so happy to work with you, finally. That I told you one year back, I would like to work with you, and that's all. All right, so there you have it, the team of Parjai, ladies and gentlemen, and don't forget to catch their episode that has just come out today. Best of luck. Best of luck for that. I was going, yeah, that's why. One as a producer and as an actor with two different shows. And what are your thoughts on the kind of regional content that we are putting out there? Um, I, to begin with, start out with, I would, wouldn't would like to use this word regional content because I don't think that that exists anymore. Most importantly, because the our whole idea of having a platform like Z5 or for that matter, the other platforms is the fact that every kind of content is available to everyone. And not just that, what is so brilliant about Z5 is that all content that we make, whatever the original language is, they are available in all other languages. It is a bit of an extra task for us because we have to get that <laughs> content dubbed ourselves into other languages. But then, yeah, that's quite tedious at that point in time. But when you get to see the feedback coming in from other corners of the country, that is when you feel 
so, so satisfied. So it's, it's really a great payback, actually. And the journey with Z5 has been absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, you know, since our very first meeting sometime in January 2018, and till the time that I stand here today talking about the one show which was launched last year, which is Kali, and the one show which is about to start, about to launch, about to get launched on the 21st of February, Shaurutyaj. And we're looking forward to our journey together in the, in the coming months and years, hopefully, Tarun sir. Yes. <laughs> Saying yes. Yeah. yes. No, he was saying yes to Sakib, not to me. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's in the same direction. Yeah, I'll take yeah, it like that. It's in yeah. the same direction yeah. right Thank now. You. Thank you but very we much. wish you all the luck. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic launch Thank you so much. with Thanks. the next Thanks. show Thanks. as well. Thank if you, you could much. hand Thank the mic. Over to him. And thank God for, you know, actually I'm going to pick up on what up with us on Z5. It is called As Poison. That's right. And uh, I wanted to ask you, what is it? So we're not going to talk too much about his show. Not yet. We can't speak too much. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> joining the, uh, the family now, the Z family. So I've yet to start shooting. So I'm really, really happy and excited. This is something that I wanted to do. I've been seeing a lot of amazing content on these platforms. And somewhere like uh, was mentioned that the kind of creativity that you can show, the time that you can use yep. to show your skills, the nuances that a lot of filmmakers miss while, you know, making movies. So this is like a test match, <laughs> you know, so you get a lot of time to show your skills. So this is what I really like. Uh, so really looking forward to working on this platform, right? And we're looking forward to Poison as well. Thank you so Best much. of luck. Thank you. Best of luck for that. <laughs> I do believe that we have Mr. Goldie Bell over here. I'm really sorry. Your anniversary. And uh, special congratulations to uh, Puneet and TK. I mean, they're doing an amazing job. And I'm more than happy to be part of the team now and uh, looking forward to our collaboration. And Goldie, can you tell us about the show? A little bit, not too much. Uh, Goldie Bell's show is called As the Rejects. And that is going to be premiering pretty soon. Well, um, Ours is a very young and restless uh, show. It's, um, it's musical, it's young, it's restless, and it talks about today's generation. And uh, it talks about overcoming rejection. And um, yeah, it's a really feisty show. And I remember the afternoon when I discussed uh, with uh, TK that I would like to do uh, something in the young and restless space, and I was telling him my ideas. And the way we started collaborating on it, it was just uh, so organic, and it was something that was just had to happen. So uh, really looking forward to this journey and looking forward to this, uh, well, hopefully not a, not a rejection, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, an, it, it, it's a rebellious show. So it's, um, it's young and restless, yeah. You know what they say about outstanding students? So I'm sure the rejects will be absolutely amazing. Could I take that? Thank you. <laughs> and best of luck for the launch 